I want Vladimir Putin to nuke Ukraine already. Well, there you have it. It's proof that Tim Pool is a warmonger. And he was never a milk toast fence sitter. Well, here we have another example of selective editing that can frame anything into a certain point of view. It's a trick of the media. It's a devious trick, and it is especially effective on very stupid people. Unfortunately, people that watch legacy media don't ask many questions, so they very rarely learn the whole truth. If you want to increase your brain, do this. When you hear a media clip that automatically triggers an emotional response, stop. Find the original clip. Watch 10 seconds before and 10 seconds after the clip that was shown to get fuller context. All right, here's an example. Remember the Charlottesville situation a few years ago when they tried to remove some statues, big protests, the whole thing? The media claimed that Trump said there were good people on both sides, and the media made it seem like Trump was endorsing white nationalists. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. But in reality, if you listen to the whole clip, he specifically denounced white nationalists and neo-Nazis. He named them specifically and said they should be condemned totally. You can't be much clearer than that. There was hatred, there was violence on both sides. Uh, are, well, I do think there's blame, the yes. I think there's blame on both sides. You look, at, you look at both sides. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it, and you don't have any doubt about it either. And, it, and, 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 and if you reported it accurately, you would say. They showed up in Charlottesville to protest. Excuse me. They didn't protest. They didn't protest. And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group. Excuse me. Excuse me. I saw the same pictures as you did. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue and the renaming of a park from Robert E. Lee to another name. George Washington was a slave owner. Was George Washington a slave owner? So will George Washington now lose his status? Are we going to take down, excuse me, are we going to take down, are we going to take down statues to George Washington? How about Thomas Jefferson? What do you think of Thomas Jefferson? You like him? Okay, good. Are we going to take down the statue? Because he was a major slave owner. Now, are we going to take down his statue? So you know what? It's fine. You're changing history. You're changing culture. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the press has treated them absolutely unfairly. Now, in the other group also, you had some fine people, but you also had troublemakers, and you see them come with the, with the black outfits and with the helmets and with the baseball bats. You, got a, you, had a lot of bad, you had a lot of bad people in the other group, too. This is just one of thousands of examples of how media tricks people and outright lies to create an agenda. Now, I did the same thing with Tim Pool. Tim doesn't believe that Ukraine should be nuked. He said that specifically so that left-wing news sources like Sam Cedar and the Young Turks could clip it and attempt to make a few cheap dollars by lying to people with very low IQ. Let's watch the whole clip, and you can see what I mean. But so, you know, you just got to say something that's easily uh, baitable, like, I want Vladimir Putin to nuke Ukraine already. Just be done with it. You know, Ukraine should be nuked. And if you said something like that, you know, they could take that clip out of context and then tell everybody that, you know, Tim Pool called for uh, nuking Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't matter what the context is. Like, for example, if someone were to say something like, we must nuke Ukraine, 
Russia has to do it. Vladimir Putin is the greatest president of all time. Everyone agrees. And anybody who's lying, anybody who says otherwise is lying. And Putin is obligated to nuke that country off the face of the earth. If you said something like that, they would easily be able to clip that and then accuse you of having said and it. How would you react or how will you react when that starts? <laughs> when they do. <laughs> when they do. Yeah, will like no, but seriously, serious question. They do it already. No, I know, but when it becomes like so pervasive, will you just It is. It? Yeah, it is. Now I'm sure that this clip will be very popular tomorrow. And now that you know, you can have a good laugh that they fell for the trap. They always do. All right, I got another video coming later, so I'll see you soon.